In November of 2019, Microsoft introduced a new commerce experience for Azure in the CSP program. In this video, I'm going to explain what this means for MSPs. My name is Vadim Vladimirsky, and if you're a managed services provider looking to build or grow your Azure practice, then this is the channel for you. There are three primary reasons why Microsoft introduced the new commerce experience for Azure in CSP. Number one, Microsoft wants CSPs to add value, not just resell the Azure service, by helping customers deploy and manage their Azure environments. In the new commerce experience, only partners that add this value are going to be rewarded with rebates and incentives. Number two, the current pricing of Azure is fairly complex. There are multiple price lists for different transactional programs in different regions, and, uh, and different currencies. In the new CSP commerce experience for Azure, there's going to be one global price list that's going to be common to all the different channels on which Azure is transacted. And the third reason is the simplification of the customer agreement that's necessary in the CSP program. There is now going to be the Microsoft customer agreement as opposed to the Microsoft Cloud Agreement. It is important to note that the new commerce experience for Azure in the CSP program is something that is not mandatory for everyone to migrate to right away. Microsoft is adding this as an additional option to the way MSPs and CSPs currently transact Azure and CSP. So it is not something you have to migrate to right away, but it's likely something that Microsoft is going to incentivize CSPs to migrate to over time. The next thing to keep in mind is that the new commerce experience applies to those partners who are using the Microsoft Partner Center to purchase Azure for their customers. This typically involves direct CSPs and indirect CSP providers. Since most managed services providers are indirect CSP resellers who do not use the Microsoft Partner Center, this is not going to apply to them directly right now, but since it's going to affect their CSP provider, which is the distributor from whom they are buying Azure using the distributor's platform and portal, eventually it is going to change the way they're buying Azure, but each CSP indirect provider is going to have their own methodology and their own workflow, so be sure to keep your eyes open for any news from your distributor. But again, if you are a direct CSP or an indirect CSP provider, this is something you should be aware of as soon as possible. So what does all this mean for MSPs, practically speaking? Again, this is not going to change the way Azure technically works. None of the resources will change and the customers will continue using Azure the way they always have been. But the billing experience is going to be slightly different and the process through which you purchase Azure is going to be slightly different as well. However, the most important change is going to be the way you receive your discount is as an Azure reseller from Microsoft. In the current Azure Commerce experience, there are two things that are involved. There is a margin or a discount that you get on your invoice based on how much Azure you resell. And then there are incentives or rebates that are paid by Microsoft on a monthly basis. With the new commerce experience, there is no longer the concept of a margin or a discount that you get simply for reselling Azure. Instead, Microsoft has transitioned to something called Partner Earned Credit, or PEC, which is defined as having 24 by 7 administrative access to the customer's Azure resources, the customers to which you're reselling Azure to. What this means is that if your customers are simply buying Azure from you, but you do not have administrative access to their Azure subscriptions and resources, you will not earn PEC, and therefore you will not get any credit for reselling Azure. Again, that's worth repeating. Partner earned credit only applies to those partners that have 24 by seven access to their customers' resources after they've sold Azure subscription to them. 
And this is really the major change to keep in mind. Microsoft now wants partners to add value, not just resell Azure directly. The other incentives or rebates that Microsoft provides and changes on, on a quarterly or semi-annual basis are, are going to work in a similar way. There's going to be a certain uh, core and strategic incentives that will apply to CSPs, and those will be applied as a credit to the invoice um, that you receive every month from Microsoft. So those are not going to change in any significant way, but the margin or the discount is going to drastically change in the new Azure Commerce experience. To learn more about the new Azure Commerce experience in CSP, click on the link below and explore some of the resources that we've put together for you.